the Vancouver Canucks have a lot of COVID positives. They have over 20 people on the ro- on from the roster, coaches included, are tested positive for COVID. Over half their roster, including both their goaltenders, are on the COVID list. They went, they had their first day in a couple of weeks or in a week on Thursday or Friday where they did not have a single new positive test, which is a step in the right direction, but it's the Brazilian variant. People are struggling with this and deputy commissioner Bill Daly says they want to get them in this week. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it's, this is not good. This is worse than the Titans was. This is worse than the Sabres. This is worse than the Marlins. This is really, really bad. Yeah, I think this probably is, you know, you just mentioned the other teams, the other sports. This probably is the worst that it's been. And before I ever talk about, like, the impact on the team, you know, will they come back? Will they play? I think of, like, just the players. I hope they're all okay. You know, it was reported that a few were in rush uh, shape before. Brazilian variant, I'm not going to lie, I didn't even know that there was a Brazilian variant before I kind of looked into the story. So that's something you never want to have to deal with. You know, I hope that everyone's family as well from the, you know, the players – everything like that. I hope that's all taken care of. And then you talked about, you know, when they will come back and it's supposed to be next Thursday, I believe. I don't see any chance that happens. I think that was being way too aggressive, especially you mentioned both their goaltenders. And I think there's a lot that's at play right now. They need to make sure you talked about how they didn't have any positive tests for the first time. I think that's crucial, but we've seen in other sports where a few days goes by and then another guy and then another guy. So I think from that sense is why you have to play it safe here and you have to kind of wait it out a little bit. It really is unfortunate, um, you know, 45 postponements for the NHL season. Obviously, it's not comparable to the NFL, but they they had a few postponements, but, you know, they made up every game. The NBA, I think, is in probably a little better shape than the NHL. I'm curious, do you think this is just circumstantial, uh, or do you think there's, like, a real reason that the NHL has had such problems? Well, I think they're all different, right? Every outbreak is a little bit different, and in this one, they the team investigated and they said nobody did anything wrong. It was just somebody got it. Just it happens. And I think the NHL is in a really tough situation because you look at there's two different countries, right? Toronto, the Toronto Raptors are playing in Florida and so are the Toronto Blue Jays. But the seven Canadian NHL teams are playing in Canada. And the uh, vaccine rollout in Canada is significantly slower than it is here. Uh, you mentioned you and I got ours yesterday. There are people who are in their 60s in Canada who don't have their first shot yet. The Yankees just held a, a um, COVID vaccine like hub basically for their whole team. Everybody got vaccinated the other day. And that led to Gio Rochelle being on the IL. But uh, they all got their vaccine the other day. And now you look at these Canadian teams. This is the second Canadian team to enter the COVID protocol. They had done so, so well up in Canada until – about three weeks ago when Montreal entered the list. So this is, I think it's a little bit of both. I don't necessarily know the NHL has done anything wrong that's led to this amount of COVID um, pauses, but the Devils were really bad at the beginning of the season. They had 18 guys on the list at the beginning of the season and they were all able to come back. I think that was a little bit more uh, um, asymptomatic than, than this one is. This, this is really, really bad. And you're getting to the point of the season where it's going to be hard to reschedule games because the, Last day of the season is May 10th. Their last game is May 8th. So that's two days. Great. You got to schedule it for, you got to play a game every day in the month of May. Like I don't, I personally right now don't see a way they get to 56 because I don't, I don't know how you can start playing when there's still positives on the team. Maybe they'll find a way. I don't know. This is a very, very fluid situation for sure. I mean, I don't think you can find any way to play. I think you might have to eat it with these games. And I don't know how that will affect the schedule and the playoffs and the seedings. And that's nothing, you know, you never want to deal with that. But if guys are still testing positive, if there are still outbreaks, you can't risk everything because then you could do a whole blow up. You know, you could risk postponing the season. I remember in the MLB right off the bat with the Marlins thing and they played with kind of COVID, right? They played the Phillies with COVID and people were calling for the season immediately to be canceled. They were the first league that really came back. So that was significant there and i think the nhl has to be smart here you know you talked about the vaccine role in canada which is really interesting and unfortunate i guess for them because they'll probably have to wait longer and i just think at the end of the day you have to put safety in the front of everything 
with COVID and with the players. And, you know, if it means you can't make up every game, then you have to do it. If it'll get you also to the end point, because the, the risk of playing games in the regular season where there could be potential COVID is way bigger than, you know, kind of canceling. And then hopefully we get a champion when it's all said and done. Yeah. And this is a team that's not going to make the playoffs either, right? The North division is, is for the most part set with Toronto, Winnipeg, Edmonton, and Montreal. Vancouver's probably not going to make the playoffs. They could have made a run for sure. They could have made a big acquisition of the deadline and tried to make a run, but now they're not going to do that for sure. They, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't feel worth it. It just feels like we should reschedule the games. We should make sure Toronto, Edmonton, Montreal, Winnipeg play 56 games, whether it's against each other, whether it's against Ottawa and Calgary, whatever. Just get those four teams to 56 games, get them to the playoffs, and, and leave Vancouver out of this, which is unfortunate because you want those guys to be able to play. You want them to earn earn their money, and there's no fans in Canada, so there's no there's no fan revenue. There's no incentive for the owner to play the games, but financially at least. I, I, I don't see a reason to, to push this. I really don't. I, I think – I don't know. It's very early to say they're out for the season because there is a month left. But if we get another seven to 10 days of this, it seems like everything is starting to trend in that direction, even though Bill Daly has said they're going to play all 56 and they're going to come back next week. I mean, yeah, maybe we'll look like idiots in a couple of days, but right now it doesn't seem, doesn't seem right. 